Now I will introduce Yatex Ferrous Debris Monitor. This is the instrument and these are all the main accessories. Now I will introduce them one by one. This is the standard oil container. You can put your oil sample here. It's 5 mm. This is the converter ring. It's used to combine with this container and then put on the instrument for measurement. This is the 750 PQ standard oil sample. It's mainly for the calibration purpose. Before your measurement, you can do the calibration first. You can see it's solid here, not liquid. So it's okay to be transported together with this instrument. These are the fuels. These are mainly for avoiding the damages caused by high AC electricity. They are usually put at this position under this plug. Now we power on this instrument. Before we measure, we should do the calibration first. I will let you know how to calibrate. Power on this instrument and keep it on for at least half an hour so that the instrument temperature can be suitable and okay to ensure the measurement accuracy. After half an hour, we can do the calibration. You can see the third one. Okay. Just follow the instructions. It asked me to put an empty sample here. So I will use an empty oil container and my converter ring to put here. Okay, start. Now the instruction tell me uh, I should put my 750 standard sample here. So I will take out. And put this one. The calibration will be done five times. And you can see the left one is the data tested by the empty sample and the right one is the measure is the data measured by the 750 pq standard sample why is not 750 because these are all the original data that hasn't been transferred to the normal data display you can see the data difference between them is not so many so it means the calibration is successful. 
no need to do another calibration. Now my calibration has done, so I will start the measurement. Measure. And I want to measure eight times, so I will customize it here. Okay, eight times. So I choose enter. Okay. Now I will put um, the standard sample to test whether it's 750 pq. I put it here. Okay. Start. It will measure for eight times. So during this time, you can do any other things in the lab as you like. Eight times measurement has been finished. You can see this is the average value here is 748. It's very close to 750. So you can know the measurement is accurate and open. Now let's know about the software interface. We can know about the first one first, measurement. This is for setting the times that we want to measure. You can choose one, five, or customize any time as you like. This is used for how to display the value. You can use you can choose the transit value or average value. Usually we use the average value. And this is used for saving the files or uploading the files. Options are shown like this. When you choose USB upload, you can you can upload the data from this instrument to a computer and combine the data with our software on the computer to do the curve trend analysis so that you can get a good con conclusion by this analysis. This is about the system name. You can customize as you like so that you can um, recognize this instrument in your lab. The second one, the records. You can check all the records that you have saved here. Enter one file, you can choose to open or the, check the property, delete it or upload it. Or you can choose to list them by date or by name. And the last one, setting. It's about the time setting. We can enter it. You can set the time as the country that you are in. And how to go to the previous one? You choose left. The second one, date setting. The same, use this knob to adjust and go back to the previous position. Do not save. The calibration, we have known that. The memory state, you can test them, check the memory status. Use the one, use the memory and available memory. And this is about the plate reset. When this plate is not at is not in place. You can do this, um, do this reset so that the plate can be just in the right place to ensure the accurate measurement. About language setting, now we have Chinese and English. That's all about the 